Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to apply KNN algorithm to the given data set to classify the new example into one of the classes with the help of simple solved example. The problem definition looks something like this. A factory is producing papers. The quality control unit applies two types of testing, durability test and strength test to assess the quality of the paper. There are eight observations given to us. Each of the observation is either assigned good or bad. The meaning of this one is uh, the quality of paper is good, quality of paper is bad in some cases. We need to use k nearest neighbor algorithm that is knn with k is equal to 1 and 3 to predict the quality of the paper with the durability value 5 and strength is equal to 5 in this case. Now we will discuss uh, two methods uh, to classify the new example into one of the classes that is uh, basic knn algorithm and then weighted KNN algorithm. First, we will start with basic KNN algorithm. In this case, first we will try to calculate the distance between the new example and the training examples given to us. To calculate the distance, we use this formula that is distance is always equal to square root of x2 minus x1 bracket square plus y2 minus y1 bracket square. Uh, in this case, uh, this new example will be x1, y1 and these training examples will become x2, y2 in this case. First, we will calculate the distance between new example and the first uh, training example that is square root of x2 minus x1 bracket square. x2 is what? 7 here. x1 is 5. So, 7 minus 5 bracket square plus y2 minus y1 bracket square that is 7 minus 5 bracket square that is what I have written here which is equal to 2.83. Similarly, we will calculate the distance from new example to second uh, training example that is square root of 6 minus 5 bracket square plus 4 minus 5 bracket square which is equal to 1.41. Similarly, we will calculate the distance from new example to all other training examples. They look something like this. Once you calculate the distance, uh, the next thing is to assign the rank based on the distance. The one which is having minimum distance that is more closer to the new example, hence it will be given a rank 1. So, in this case, if you look at uh, the training example 4 here, the distance is 1 which is minimum compared to all other distances. Hence, it is more nearer to the new example. Because of that, it will be given rank 1. Similarly, the training example 2 is having the distance 1.41 which is second minimum value. That is the reason it is given rank 2. Similarly, the eighth example is given rank 3 in this case. Now, we will consider the value of k. Based on the value of k, we will assign the label for the new example. In the first case, the value of k given to us is 1 here. The meaning of this one is we need to consider the uh, first nearest neighbor and then uh, based on that, we need to assign the label for the new example here. The first nearest example is the fourth one. Uh, because we are considering only one nearest neighbor, label of that example is assigned to the new example here. The label of fourth example is good here. The meaning of this one is the new example will be classified as good in this case. Now, we will consider another example that is k is equal to 3 here. The meaning of this one is we need to consider the three nearest neighbors here. The first nearest neighbor is the fourth one, second nearest neighbor is the second one and the third nearest neighbor is 8 here. Now, if you look at these uh, target or the labels for these three examples, the first one is good, second one is bad and third one is bad here. And uh, between these three, the majority is bad because of that the new example will be classified as bad in this case. So, in the first case that is when k is equal to 1 the new example was classified as good. When the value of k is equal to 3 the new example is classified as bad here. So, this is how we can apply the basic k and algorithm to classify the new example into one of the classes. Now, we will consider the weighted k and algorithm. Here what we need to do is uh, we need to calculate the distance from new example to all training examples. We have already calculated in the previous step. I am using the same distances here. Next what we need to do is we need to calculate the inverse square distance that is 1 divided by distance square. So, 1 divided by 2.83 bracket square that is equal to 0.13. Similarly, we have to calculate all other uh, inverse square distances. Once you calculate the inverse square distances, the one which is having the maximum inverse square distance that is the more nearest example to new example here. So, based on that we will assign the rank here. In this case uh, 1.00 is the maximum inverse square distance. The meaning of this one is this is the most nearest example to the new example here. 
So this will be given a rank 1. Second maximum inverse square distance is 0 0.50 that is given rank 2. And the third highest inverse square distance is 0 0.25 that is given a rank 3 here. Now what we need to do is uh, we need to consider the value of k. Based on that we can classify the new example into either good or bad here. So initially the value of k is equal to 1 because there is only one uh, nearest neighbor to be considered. The class of that example will be assigned to the new example here. So, in this case, fourth example, the class is good here. Hence, the new example will be classified as good in this case. When the value of k is equal to 3, what we need to do is we need to calculate f of bad and f of good here. That is, whenever the target is bad, we need to add the inverse square distances. So, in this case, if you look at here, out of these three, that is second example, fourth and eighth example, uh, there are two uh, bad examples are there. That is second one and eighth one. So, what we need to do is we need to add the inverse square distance that is uh, 0 0.50 and 0.25. Once you add these two things, you will get 0.75 that is nothing but f of bad is equal to 0.75 here. Similarly, we need to calculate f of good here. So, out of these three, good is appearing only one time. So, we need to add the inverse square distance of that one. You will get f of good is equal to 1.0. Now, once you calculate f of uh, bad and good, the one which is having the maximum uh, inverse square distance, that will be the label for the new example. So, in this case, uh, f of good is more compared to f of bad. The meaning of this one is the new example will be classified as good in this case. But in uh, basic k and algorithm, when the value of k is equal to 3, we have classified the new example into bad. But when you consider the weighted k nearest neighbor algorithm, the new example is classified as good in this case. So, this is how we can apply the basic KNN and weighted KNN algorithm on the given data set so that we can classify the new example into one of the classes here. I hope the concept of KNN algorithm is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.